Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 16th to the 22nd of October 2017. We have a lot of activity this week, so I do recommend that you follow along day by day with my horoscopes that are posted on the front page of my website, astrozo.com. So we start the week with a summing up of everything we've learnt. As Jupiter has passed through Libra for the past year, rebalancing our relationships with ourself, with our soul self, and therefore with others as well. So we're coming out of this phase now as we head towards the new moon in Libra, but there's so much activity happening now in Scorpio, we're going to feel a climatic shift of energy there. So what have we learnt? Have we learnt that we have to be true to ourselves first before approaching others? Have we learnt the difference between want, need and love? And have we had a look to rebalance where we're out of calibration with ourselves and therefore expecting others to complete us somehow or to bring us our sense of happiness and peace and that's very much something that we should first and foremost do for ourselves. So a gentle summing up as we go into the dark moon and we get ready for the new moon in Libra on Thursday. This week though is really dedicated to Mercury, there's a lot of mercurial energy going on so by Monday Mercury gets ready to leave Libra. So this is the walking meditation really, Mercury is our processing mind, getting ready to leave Libra and complete all of the year that Jupiter has brought us. So where do we focus our mind? What's our inner narrative? Is our mind working for us or against us? These are the questions that we can ask. And once we have cleared ourselves, once we are more complete and self-appreciative, then we need to give our mind a job to do, it's not supposed to run the whole show. So engaging in a course of study is something that's very worthwhile, especially over the winter. As we start to sow the seeds, we can actually put our mind to task to actually give it a focus, to give it something to build upon. And if we do the small stages over the winter, then we can reap great rewards. So on Monday, having a look at where our mind is, where we're talking to ourselves, what the narrative is, where we put our focus, and is that actually helping? If we have repeat thoughts, then it's time to just look at them once and for all and dig up the root belief behind them rather than just going round and round in circles. So, like I say, a summing up really of everything that we've been through, but we don't need to keep dwelling on the same thoughts, the same beliefs, the same subjects, but go in and do the final summing up, the final work on that to get to the point of it and then maybe give your mind something more constructive to do over the winter because by Tuesday we have Mercury moving into Scorpio and this is a very magical combination. Scorpio is the deep healer alchemist and Mercury, like I say, is the processing mind but also the manifester, how we tune into thoughts and draw them down into words and actions. So the magician in the tarot pack is ruled by the planet Mercury and we've got the magician stepping into Scorpio now to really get to the point, to connect with our power and to dig out with the conscious mind of Mercury anything that's lurking in the subconscious waters of Scorpio. So this is self-alchemy now, and this is going to last for the whole month, because even though Mercury will move on, there are other planets in Scorpio that are helping with this work. So by Tuesday we go deeper, hopefully we've cleaned out any relating um, and self-worth problems, and now we're ready to face our own inner issues and bring those up for cleansing very supercharged feeling to this, a powerful vortex of pure vibrant potential that we can tap in and use this wisely if we're not working against ourselves or repressing anything that needs to come up now. So to go involuntarily into the darkness, into the inner world, to face ourselves, to bring things out to light, to air them and release them sounds like a difficult job but it doesn't have to be done over and over again this should be a bringing things up from the roots and getting rid of them permanently kind of feel so it does take the bravery of Scorpio here but we do have everything on our side but by Wednesday we have a beautiful aspect which is Mercury meeting with Jupiter the beginning degrees of Scorpio so magical majesty the energy is abounding here to really connect with our depth and our power and our healing ability and our ability to raise up from the base to the crown to alchemize any base thoughts any base beliefs and really work the magic on those 
It's interesting, this is a dark moon as well, so very deep, very dark energy there to be embraced, to be energised and to be activated. Because by Thursday we have the new moon in Libra. As I say, with so much energy in Scorpio, this doesn't feel that Libran, but we are at the last degrees here, so the summing up continues from the weekend. Everything we've learned about relating and relationships, and therefore about ourselves. So check in with yourself. Is there anywhere where you still feel small or less than your greatest? Do you even know that you're great? Are you still relying on others for your happiness? looking inwards to see if we're weakening our own energy field and then setting pure intentions of self-appreciation is the best way forwards for wholesome and healthy connections with others. So a very refreshing, very simple if we want it to be, final summing up of everything that we've been learning and pure intentions can be set with the new moon in Libra on Thursday. We can use the alchemical energy of Scorpio as a purging fire so anything we bring up, you could visualise burning it through the purification, through the inner fire, ready to release any final delusions, any perceived limitations, to really be able to raise that energy up. And then by the weekend we have Mars moving into Libra, so we still have a little bit of Libra energy around. But I feel this one is going to help us balance the difference between what we think we want and what we want. So that would be the meditation for the weekend. Is what you want and what you think you want the same thing? Or do you hold an inner conflict? Do you have any resistance to what you want? Are you somehow repelling the very thing that you'd like to be calling inwards? And this can be done through a sense of not feeling that you deserve, not being open to receive, and overcomplicating. So the energy here is to examine objectively and to simplify what it is that you want to bring that back into alignment without all the yes buts or I can't or it will never resistances but just to get back to the simplicity of yourself of your own self appreciation and of your ability to be the purest you to see the purest in everybody else to amplify that frequency to let go of attachment and to stand in your own light and although Mars in Libra will have us thinking, I feel to try and turn the thinking off, as I said earlier, give your mind a job to do, and to get into the state of pure being, what excites you in your heart, because that will already be in balance without all the negatives or the restrictions around it, and to reconnect with that simple joy and excitement will be how we can work with Mars in Libra. So lots of planets on the move, lots of very deep energy. We're not going to be able to just ignore this and avoid because with Jupiter in Scorpio now for the next year and other planets moving with Jupiter, then it would be to do the inward work now so that we don't get that brought back to us time and time again over the next year. So to raise up the energy is the goal. This is the work we can do to purify, to rebalance and to reconnect with our simplicity so that we're being authentic and therefore everything around us will match that tone of authenticity. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. I'd love to meet you in person or online if you'd like to have a look at where this is happening for you and begin to understand your own soul plan and work with it more deeply. There's also the online members group where you can learn, dip in and out at your own convenience. And if you do want to engage on a worthy study, then I have a number of online courses or I do one-to-one -one tuition. If you'd like to look at astrology, numerology, tarot and all these other esoteric subjects, but not on their own, how they apply to you and how you can apply them for a more empowered life. So for any of that, please do contact me, zoehind7 at gmail.com.